In this lecture, we'll set up the checkout option for WooCommerce. So to do so, just click on checkout tab right up here. Now the first option says enable the use of coupons and we do want to uh, enable that so that you know we can give coupons to different users and when they uh, put in that coupon code they, they get 10% or 20% whatever discount they want so they can get that fine so uh, if you want that uh, you can enable this thing and in this lecture also, uh, itself we'll see both the checkout options and coupon options now here is the checkout process if you want to enable the guest checkout make sure it is enabled and i highly recommend this which uh, this is very important and now you have you have to re just recheck whether everything is fine cart page should be selected to cart checkout page should be checkout terms and conditions if you want you can create a page you know terms and conditions right on right just type in your terms and conditions which you have and you can link your page from here if you want not not necessary the not necessary but if you want you can do that and after you've done all these changes just click on save changes now before proceeding to uh, different checkout options now let's first see the coupon code so just click on coupon from here okay now we have to add a coupon because we don't have any coupon codes right now so right at top as you can see there's a button which says add coupon just click on that now you have to put in the coupon code right up here for example suppose you want to offer 25 percent off then you can select you know 25 of this kind of coupon code you can make and in description you can write the description about this coupon code get 25 percent off on the total amount okay now here we have to do some settings discount type percentage discount or fixed card discount what kind of discount it is so this is percentage discount because we are giving 25 percent off now the coupon amount you have to select the coupon amount okay so we are selecting 25 percent allow free shipping if you want you can check this and you can also set an expiry date for example 31st of this month we can set the expiry date usage restriction minimum speed maximum uh, minimum spent maximum spent but the minimum how much amount should be there there so that the user can get that 25 percent off so suppose i say minimum he have to purchase uh for a hundred dollars only then he's eligible for that 25 percent off and maximum thousand dollars so that uh yeah, maximum only up to thousand dollars he can get 25 percent off okay individual use only check this box if the coupon cannot be used in conjunction with other coupons and this is highly recommended because we don't want a user to use 25 percent coupon and then again we have another coupon code which gives 30 uh, 30 percent coupon then what happens is he he ultimately will get 55 percent off on the product uh, which may incur some loss for you so make sure this is selected so that he can you know uh, just use any one of these coupon codes exclude sale items yes make sure it is there why because you know sometimes you are offering products on sale 10 percent 20 percent 30 percent and on top of that if someone uses a coupon code then again the same thing happens 30 percent sale plus 30 percent coupon code he gets a 60 percent off for the product now you can select product suppose you want only uh, this coupon code eligible only for uh, some specific product then you can type in the name of the product and that product will appear over here and you can select that product but because we haven't created any product then we won't get any option over here you can exclude some products for example suppose you're uh, you know dealing in jewelry or some kind of product some uh, expensive uh, product then obviously you will be a uh, super full to give 25 percent off on those kind of products so you can exclude those products just type in the name of the product that product will appear uh, over here and you have to select that product you can uh, 
select the categories uh, for which you want to offer the this coupon code the, the, this discount and you can exclude some categories also and you can uh, exclude some uh, email also no restriction or email restriction whatever you want usage limit Usage limit per coupon you can set to one means a user can use this coupon code only once. Okay. Now it says use uh, limit usage to X items. How many items can uh, this coupon code be used on? So suppose you set two items, then if he purchases two items, then he can get uh, that uh, discount. Limit uh, use uh, limit usage limit per users obviously it should be one uh, that is only one time that coupon code uh, could be used by a single user so once you you are done with all these settings you can just click on publish okay now when we come to the cart page in the demo website here this is the option for coupon code and now when the user uh, puts in the that coupon code 25 percent off and click on the apply coupon the rate will decrease over here okay so this is also very important you know it helps you uh, in marketing your product in marketing your website so this is very important according to me now again coming back to the checkout option so under woocommerce select settings and under settings select checkout now suppose uh, you want to accept bank account transfer then you can select this options BACS uh, this is obviously not uh, preferable by me I, I don't recommend this because when will the user uh, transfer account uh, amount in your bank account and when will you come to know but still if you want this option you can just click on it and just put in your bank account name account number bank name ifsc code and this kind of stuff i don't recommend this one but if you still want this you can enable this then you have check payments again this is not recommended cash on delivery if you want to enable cash on delivery then you can just enable cash on delivery okay just click on save changes okay now the final option the PayPal option just click on PayPal first click on enable PayPal standard then you can select a title PayPal then there is a description pay via PayPal you can also change this title and description PayPal email make sure this is very very important you know this is your PayPal email uh, the E email address on which the PayPal account is activated so whenever uh, some user purchases some product and transfers that money then that money will come to this email address okay leave these options these are not important receiver email address make sure the email address is correct very very important now these are the three options which are very important okay now let me tell you where will you get all this API username password and signature for that open PayPal in a new tab log into your PayPal account scroll down and at the left side you will see seller preferences in under selling tools just click on seller preferences a new page will pop up and you'll get so many different options as you can see right up here here it is an option called API access okay here it is API access and beside that there is all buttons so besides the API access there is an update button just click on that now here there are two options first one is to add or edit api permission and the second one is to you know view the api signature now what you have to do is click on view api signature now here you have to confirm that you are the paypal account owner so you have two options whether you want to receive an email address or an automated phone call on your registered mobile number so I'm selecting the receive an email address select the mobile number this is the mobile number now click on continue okay guys so once you confirm your account number you will get three options right up here API username password and signature you can just click on show you will get your username just copy it from here go back to your dashboard paste it similarly 
copy and paste your password and signature over here okay so click on password password copy it paste it over here signature copy and paste it over here now click on save changes So with this, we have completed the checkout option and in the next lecture, we'll be creating new products. Uh, I'll show you how to create different kind of products, simple product, variable products, uh, sale product and different kind of products. So see you guys in the next lecture.